Hi friends, Allison here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a new Cricut designed layout to share with you. <clears throat> this layout is a mixed media layout and it is full of lots of fun stuff, including hand stitching, which has become my norm, some stamping, which is something that I'm making a conscious effort to add more of to my layouts, and also mixed media. So for the mixed media in this layout, I wanted or decided to add some moon mist, pardon me, Nouveau Glitter Mist in Moon Mist through a stencil instead of adding spray or even inking to the background. I did think about adding inking, um, like ink blending, but I decided against that and just decided to use some glitter. I'm so happy that I chose that because the sparkle behind the rainbow is honestly the perfect touch. I'm just working on gluing the rainbow right now. I cut the rainbow out last night, glued it all together, and then hand stitched it in coordinating colors. I used just your regular embroidery floss, all six strands. And I absolutely love how it turned out. The, the cut file on its own reminds me of Rainbow Bright. I am not sure why. I actually had a few things running through my mind. Rainbow Bright was one of them. The Care Bears was another and My Little Pony. I couldn't put my finger on which one it reminded me of the most, but I think Rainbow Bright is the, is it? I'm not 100% sure. I don't know, is it me? The cut file just somehow reminds me of Rainbow Bright. Anyways, I love it. I adore it. And I'm going to have to use it again sometime in the future. But I hand stitched the heck out of it. And I think it was a nice touch as well. I wanted to layer everything over top of this cut file. Lots of it is still poking out, so um, don't fret too much. It uh, still works out in the end. So I've got the photo, which is two by two inches, layered over the right-hand side of the rainbow. It was also matted to white cardstock, and then the title was being placed next to it as well. Here you can see me working on the rest of the title, which is raising a like raising a fighter is the whole title i wanted to stamp the words raising and a um, to complete my title i thought about using alphas but i was afraid they would be like alpha stickers but i was afraid they would be too big and some of my alpha stamps i was worried would be too small so i settled on this stamp set it's uh i think it's simply said by close to my heart in the end, I wish I had gone some with something a lot smaller than this. I didn't necessarily want it to be the same width as the word fighter, but it works. It's glued and it's done and it still looks fantastic. So I'm not too heartbroken over it. I decided to add some Tim Holtz phrase stickers to the left hand side of the rainbow. I have a couple Tim Holtz phrase sticker books. Um, first of all, I went through the snarky one and I actually had a couple pulled out that I decided not to use in the end. Pardon my dogs, they figure they have to bark at everything they see out the window. Okay, so, oh, Tim Holtz phrase stickers. Um, I was gonna use some from the snarky sticker book, but I decided against that. So I actually put them back and then pulled a couple stickers out of the small talk phrase book and I think they work a whole lot better with the whole theme than the snarky ones. These stars is where I added the stamping. I think you may have seen me do that at the beginning of the video. I wanted to leave that in. If not, I did stamp on the stars. Not all of them. One of them ended up sneaking past me. It didn't get stamped, but that's okay. Um, it's no biggie in the end. So now I'm adding my journaling and I thought I would leave this in my video as well because I totally fudged up my journaling. I'm learning very quickly that 
multitasking does not work very well for me. <laughs> I was working on this while my daughter was working on schoolwork and trying to divide my attention between what I'm doing and helping her with schoolwork it just doesn't work. So I wrote my journaling and then realized it didn't really convey everything that I wanted to say. So ended up rewriting all of my journaling and uh, cutting it into strips and covering up what I had written directly onto the layout base. Um, so you'll see this whole process um, now, I suppose. With the journaling out of the way and done and covered up, this layout is pretty well done. Um, oh, seriously, I just love this layout. The rainbow just speaks to my heart, I think. I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but uh, it definitely makes my heart happy. Here's where I set my <laughs> layout off to the side and totally revamped my journaling because it just wasn't up to par. I'm using my same old hack, using a pencil and straight edge ruler to mark out lines, and then I write my journaling in between those lines and then cut them out to create journaling strips. I did not use foam squares this time to attach the journaling to the layout. I used liquid glue and then glued it directly over top of my journaling, the other journaling that I did. Pardon the beeping, I'm cooking supper at the same time that was my microwave, defrosting some meat. Um, multitasking once again. Uh, so yeah, I just used the glue to be sure most of the original journaling was covered up. So I apologize because most of what I was doing is not in frame. All I'm really doing is just cutting out my journaling into the strips and then gluing them to the layout base. You're not really missing too much, but I wish it had been in focus, in frame, so that you could see it all. <laughs> Anyways, my friends, thank you so much for joining me today. Even though this video is a hot mess and creating it was a hot mess, it still ended up pretty fantastic in the end. Here I'm adding yet more Tim Holtz phrase stickers. This time they are black and white and it still makes my heart happy even though there is no other black in the rest of the layout. I think it's fabulous. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and a like, please. Um, also, feel free to stick around for the close-ups which are coming up right away here and if you'd like to see more videos from me, especially more Cricut themed, created and designed layouts, um, hang around because I got more stuff to share with you. I will be back again soon with more creative inspiration. Have a fantastic day, friends. Bye.